Hey guys, Molly here with Bullet Central, and today I want to show you the GRS BC Custom Build. Now let's get into the rifle components. To start with, we have an Atlas Tactical Action, a Bartland Barrel Chambered in 308, a Hawkins Precision Muzzle Brake, and a Bix and Andy Dakota Trigger. Now, what I really want to highlight is the GRS Ward Stock. This is very unique, and I'm going to show you why. To start with, we have the adjustable cheek piece and length of pull, both, which all you need to do is click a button in, move it where you want it, and put the button back, and that is it. Here we have an ergonomic grip, which allows to get just more of a natural feel when you're behind that rifle. And then one of my favorite features about this, which really sets it apart from all the other GRS stocks, is you have more of a traditional look in back, but as you move forward, it looks more modern. You've got your M-lock and your Picatinny rail, which makes this rifle absolutely beautiful. Now let's get into the GRS bipod. I'm gonna start bottom to top. Starting with the feet, you have two different sides. You have a smooth side, which is perfect for shooting off a bench or a mat. And then you have a spiked side, which is perfect for shooting off a rock or a log. Moving up, you have a button that extends your legs. You just push the button in, set your desired height, and let go, and it will lock automatically. If you keep going up, you have a knob. You're gonna push that knob down and adjust it to where you want the cant of your bipods, whether you want it more forward, depending on your shooting position, or however you'd like that. Here, we have our spigot adapter mount. Now, depending on your personal preference and your stock, you can actually make this bipod top or bottom mounted. In order to achieve that, you'll loosen the top screw, take your spigot, flip it 180 degrees, and tighten it back down. The last thing is going to be setting your rifle cant. Adjust your rifle where you want it, and using the locking lever here, you're just going to tighten it down, and that's it. I had the opportunity to shoot this rifle the other day. It shot extremely well, and I had some very nice groups. But I can say that one of the most noticeable things I found with shooting this rifle was the top mounted bipod. It allowed the recoil to come straight back into my shoulder, which allowed me to have a better follow up shot. This rifle would be absolutely perfect for your next hunting gun or just a fun range day gun. I'm Molly. Thanks for watching.